Hey guys, today I'm filming the third update for my chopping block series of 2021 and I have done this series on my channel for many years now and usually I at the beginning of the year we'll film an intro where I have a big group of products that I want to test and make a final decision on whether I want to keep them or not and in these updates which I do every two months I usually also let you know about things that I return things that I had to throw out because they went bad and then other random things I chose to declutter but I think I've decided to take out the return part from these updates because it's a bit repetitive. In my monthly hauls I let you know what I returned from previous months and in my monthly makeup ranking I'm fully in depth reviewing the things that I've ended up returning. So I feel like it's a little repetitive so I'm not going to include it here. Basically this is just going to be a declutter video every two months. So hopefully you guys are okay with that but I've got my little makeup bag here full of some things and I actually will start with the three chopping block products that I tested that I really really enjoyed and I will be keeping which is very exciting. Of course I love decluttering things like just for like numbers sake and I usually do a pretty good job of letting go of chopping block products but I do get just as excited when there are things that I test that I re fall in love with or grow an appreciation for. So the first one I didn't officially put it in my chopping block at the beginning of the year because I've gotten it since then. And I really thought about decluttering this to a friend and I wore it this month several times and I actually really liked it. So this is the Becca Opre Ski face palette. I bought this from Cali Fab Beauty when she was doing a declutter I just paid for shipping. So I got this for a really great price and this was a limited edition palette that comes with one bronzer, one blush and four highlighters and I have not used this darkest highlight or the lightest highlight but I've used the other two shades this is opal this is rose quartz the blush is winterberry and the bronzer is bronzed bondi and I really thought that this would be too dark for me except for that light highlight and it's looked beautiful I have tried opal and the rose quartz singles and I didn't love them as much on me opal was too dark rose quartz just wasn't like glowy enough but for some reason with the other makeup I've been wearing and the ones in these palettes have been working for me the bronzer when applied lightly wasn't too intense the blush was very beautiful and I think that I can probably like try mixing these two and maybe get them to work or use that lightly as a bronzer topper we'll see but I just really enjoyed using this palette and I definitely I'm am going to hang on to it for now it could be some to clutter in the future but I really really have been enjoying that which makes me very happy and then the other two chopping block products I'll be keeping would be some of the pixie lip lift max glosses I used up a mini of the shade rose I think years ago back when I was in my master's program which I mean that wasn't that long ago but I don't know three four years probably and I loved using that but I didn't know if I was going to love these shades or really love this formula as much as I did that little mini but I do I really really like these and I got these both in PR and there is just like a little bit of product in here you have a lot of excess packaging so I really think that these compared to other glosses would probably be easier to pan so that's something that I'm thinking about as well I wouldn't repurchase them but I like them enough to keep them use them and possibly pan them although I have other lip products I'm going to pan next year so we'll see what happens but the full size one I have is a sweet nectar which is such a nice light wash of color and then peony bloom is a little bit more pigmented and at first I was like oh no I won't like that but really like once you actually put it on the lips it's like an even wash of color but it's still a wash it's not like a full coverage gloss these have a bit of a menthol scent which I love I know a lot of people don't like mint but I really like it it's very smooth on lips very cushiony not sticky has a nice shine to it like wow 
that's some good shine. So I definitely will be hanging on to these and that makes me very, very happy. And then I just have a bunch of random things that I will be decluttering. So we're just gonna grab and go here. The first thing is something that my sister had given to me that was decluttered to her. And this is the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. I actually really enjoy this primer. I had used a deluxe size sample in my winter project this year, really liked it. It has an interesting scent, like a little perfumey, but I enjoy it. It looks like a thicker consistency, but it truly gives a glassy look on the skin, which is very pretty. I don't like this packaging. I wish it was in a squeeze tube. I don't love this. And this does not expire till 2022. So I can definitely pass this on to someone and they can get some good use out of it. I like this, but I can only really wear dewy hydrating primers in the winter, maybe a little bit in the spring. And I already have some of my collection that I like a little bit more that I want to spend the time using those up instead of this one. So that's why I'm passing it on. But if I didn't have those other primers, I would have kept this. It is very nice. Next I have a blush. This is a Kylie blush and we are going shopping. This is something that I had purchased from Cali Fab Beauty along with that Becca palette and I hadn't tried a, no, I guess I did try Kylie blush in a palette. And this is a pretty color, but I'm just not wowed by the color or the formula, unfortunately. And I have a huge blush collection. If you guys just saw my makeup inventory, it's huge and I need to find ways to cut it down. So I just don't need this one. So I'm gonna see if one of my friends wants it. If not, I'm gonna give it to my sister-in-law and I think she'd be really happy to have it. I've given her, both my sister's in-laws, sister-in-laws so much makeup recently. <laughs> it's so funny, like for my real, real makeup loving friends, I never feel like I send them too much stuff. But for my mom, my sister, my sister-in-laws, I start to wonder like, am I giving them too much? Like, can they even use this? Like, are they gonna be overwhelmed? So I love having more people to pass things on to. Then for eye products, I just have one. And this is the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in Vivid, which is a bright purple. This is fine. I feel like this isn't necessarily the most even. I know a lot of people like these liners. I would still be interested in trying some other shades, but I am not gonna really wear this color purple. If this was a bit more lavender, I would love it. I think this is a nice formula, but just something about this color purple is not for me. I had gotten this as a freebie and I have a ton of this left. I actually have not even sharpened it before, but I will before I pass it on. But this will go to someone else. It's a good formula. I just don't love that shade. Those are super affordable and LA Girl goes on sale all the time at Ulta. So never even buy a full price if you don't have to, unless you're really, really wanting them like right away. Next, I've got some lip hair products, several actually. The first one is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Lip Therapy. This is just like super thin and not hydrating at all for me. It doesn't give any lasting hydration. Then I have this Lemongrass Spa Peppermint Stick Lip Butter. I got this in a duel with the lip butter and the lip scrub, which is in my year long project pan. I really like the lip scrub. The lip butter not so much i have been digging my fingernail in there i love the scent of this but i just don't find it to be super hydrating and it's going to take me ages to get through this because it's in a tub and i have other potted lip balms that i like more and i would rather spend the time using than this one so i'm going to pass that one on probably to my mom and then I have the Sigma Lip Care Trio. I did review this a couple months ago in a monthly makeup ranking. I'm so glad that I did not pay for these and that I actually got these in PR from Look Fantastic. And I'm very disappointed I didn't like any of them. So we have the Conditioning Lip Mask. It was a little thick, a little sticky, not very hydrating. The Hydrating Lip Gloss felt gritty because of the shimmer in it. 
And then the moisturizing lip balm is just very thin consistency, didn't actually feel very hydrating, it just gave like a slippy feel to the lip. So I'm gonna be passing on all of those. Then I've got some more lip products. So I have a Lorac Ultra Ego Lip Liner in Duchess, which is a very pretty color. I got this as a free gift from Ulta. Nothing is wrong with this at all. I just have a ton of lip liners and this was one of the easier ones for me to let go of. And then along with that, I had the Lorac Alter Ego Lipstick in Trendsetter, which is a pretty like almost terracotta shade, nice creamy formula. Nothing is wrong with this at all, but I just didn't think I would reach for the shade a ton. Surprisingly, I'm also getting rid of two MAC lipsticks. This first one is Marrakesh. I got this as a freebie from Ulta. It's a super deep orange red, very, very pretty color, just too intense for me. And it's a matte finish. Then this is one that I super rep buying. Tim Talia had swatched it, it looked beautiful on her. She has a little bit more like olive complexion than I do. And I saw it on the BoxyCharm Facebook group for a good price. There have been more things that I've been happy I purchased than not, but I have made some impulse buys on that page and this was one of them. This is the shade Mocha, which is a satin finish. And this is like a terracotta looking color also, but it's lighter. You can see the comparison there. Definitely not as intense of a shade, but it definitely is also full coverage. This color is just okay. I don't need it. So I'm gonna give those to my friend Jean, which I'm excited about. And I don't love MAC lipsticks. They were some of the first lip products I tried. I didn't like them then. I've tried a lot more lip products in the past 10 years and I still don't love them now. The Love Me formula I like, the Powder Kiss formula I like, and I do have some others from them that I got in Back to MAC and I am happy that I have them, but mostly because I didn't buy them my own money, so yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy more MAC lipsticks unless they're in back to MAC or like a special formula. I don't know if any of you guys have been following MAC products for a long time, but like eight, ten years ago, I was in love with the Sheen Supreme lipsticks. They were discontinued. Of course they were. Of course they were. Why wouldn't they be discontinued? The formula was so good and I'm so mad at myself I never bought the nude shade I just had the brights for some reason I would have loved the nude anyway let's move it along the next thing I have is a mini nude sticks all over face color in the shade naughty and spice and this is a smaller sample size than a lot of their other products so because of the size of it I just used it as a lipstick but you can use it as I, I, I mean, I know you can use lipstick as a cream blush, but like this, most times I'm sure people use this as a cream blush and then put it on their lips as they're filming a multitasking makeup video. Uh, but probably they reach for it mostly as a blush. As a lip color, it's a little bit drying and it's just okay. The color was pretty, but I don't need it. I just am not really in love with like any of my bullet lipsticks right now. And I'm wanting to try some new ones, but I seem to be very picky about bullet lipsticks. So I'm not wanting to go crazy. Then I'm getting rid of two glosses. This is something that I decluttered after my makeup inventory. So my gloss inventory went down by one, which is great, but I do have others that I will be hauling this month as well. So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Cat Suit high shine lip gloss and this is in the shade petal poison it's a very pretty color i like this formula i think i actually mentioned it in my winter favorites i like it i don't love it i have other glosses i would rather use over this one so i'm gonna let it go but it's not bad and then i have the tarte tartiste glossy lip paint in golds which is a very pretty rosy shade i used to really love these glosses i used up a mini of exposed which is another one that i have in a full size and i liked it previously 
but over the past couple years I've really decided that I do not like full coverage glosses. This is a full coverage gloss and it just makes me worry that it's going to get all over the place but it is very smooth it's not sticky you know it's not a bad formula it just has too much opacity for me i moved this to the side and forgot about this is something i got a couple months ago in a ulta free gift because they were really trying to like get rid of kylie's stuff before we even knew that the brand was rebranding and this is the sipping pretty palette i've never used it I think I'm going to try to sell this. If I don't get any hits, I will give it to one of my sister-in-laws. And I did not declutter very much this time. I usually end up decluttering way more. So you could take this as a good thing or a bad thing. But I am going to do some videos on it next month because I think it might be interesting. If I was able to sell some more of my makeup, I could let it go. Some of these things I, I can't just give away, but if I can get some money back for it, I could get rid of it. So I'm gonna finally make myself sell some stuff. I've sold some things this year on my sister's Poshmark, but I think I'm just gonna sell some things on Instagram because Poshmark takes some of your cut. I know that like they help with shipping, blah, blah, blah. blah. I think I'm gonna sell some makeup on Instagram that's been like very lately used. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. But I think it will really help me let go of some more products, which would be great. Yeah, that would make, that would make me feel good. So we'll see if that ends up happening, but I, th I think it will. We'll see though. And then I have two nail polishes. The first one is 90 Lacquer Cottontail. This used to be really pretty like rose gold polish but a little bit more on like the pinky side but over the years the color of this has changed and now it just looks like a golden bronze which is pretty but i don't really go for that kind of color i don't like bronze eyeshadows even barely but i don't really wear bronze polish i love a warm tone polish but something more copper i like rose gold and this is just too bronze so i'm going to let it go. I'm very sad that the color has changed. I haven't really had that happen to me with polish before, but like the formula itself, the consistency is still fine. So someone will enjoy this as a bronze polish, just not as the rosy polish it once was. And then the other one I'm going to get rid of is what I'm wearing today. And this makes me kind of sad. This is the Wet n Wild Wild Shine Polish in Ferris Wheel Romance. I bought this many years ago. It's a pretty color, opaque in two to three coats. It's getting a little gloopy though. I definitely could put some thinner in here. And I just don't love this as much as I used to. It makes my hands look tan, which is nice, but I like my peaches to have a bit more pink in it. And this is a little bit more on the orangey side. I thought about trying to declutter this to someone, but really this was like a one or $2 polish. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. I have definitely gotten some good use out of it over the years and I've enjoyed wearing it, but I, I have moved on. So guys, this was a pretty small declutter for me, like I said, and I'm happy with it. I mean, I'm always like, yeah, I got rid of a bunch of stuff, but a lot of the things I ended up getting rid of are things that were decluttered to me, which makes me feel bad because I never want my friends to think that I'm not appreciative. But I also this year tried to be more mindful about the things that I was taking from friends. I wasn't just saying yes to everything that I might want to try. I've been a little bit pickier. I am going to have a friend mail haul coming soon. I did show you the products on Instagram, but I am going to do a YouTube haul video coming soon. I did get a lot of things from friends recently as well, but believe it or not, I was pickier than I normally am or not pickier, but like more selective. I picked fewer items. So I really think that's what has majorly contributed to the lesser amount of products. I'm having a very hard time getting my words together today, but basically it's easy for me to let go of things that I got as freebies from purchases things that I got in PR and things that were decluttered to me because it's not my money. But when I'm spending my money on things, it's a little bit harder to let go of, of course. So also keep that in mind when you are watching big beauty YouTubers declutter and you're like, wow, they're getting rid of so much stuff. It's easier to let go of things that you have not spent money on. I would say, I don't want to make a generalization, but I, I think 
that's probably the case. I'm rambling. I feel good that I tested out three products that I really enjoy and want to keep in my collection. These to pan, these just to keep. Makes me feel pretty good and I have a lot of great makeup here that I'll be very happy to pass on to some friends and family. So I would love to know your thoughts on any of these products in the comments down below. I would also love to know what you decluttered recently and how do you feel about decluttering in general. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.